HEB and United Educators have joined to extend the principles of risk management into the boardroom. And it really has come about because boards are recognizing more and more the importance of developing the right processes, the right thinking, the right strategies around risk management. The opportunities for things to prevent us from being successful are not getting smaller. In fact, they're growing. So institutions need to be more focused on what they want to accomplish and how they're going to deploy their resources. And risk management allows them to step away from some programs, step away from funding some initiatives in order to focus on the ones that they think will be most successful. It is a tool, a tool that has been neglected by higher education for too long and a tool that can help institutions be successful. It is not the only tool, but if institutions are not assessing what risk could prevent them from being successful and how to engage the board, the senior administration, the entire campus in identifying, assessing, and managing risks, it has a much greater likelihood of not thriving into the future. There are two different types of institutions that I think would benefit most from the AGB and UE Consulting. Uh, the first is those who have talked about it for quite a while, know that they need to do something. Uh, perhaps uh, the trustees have seen it work at their corporation, their organization, and have really struggled with what does it mean for higher education. The second would be they have started it, maybe they've stopped it, they have, the institution has asked faculty and staff, what are the risks, what keep you up at night? Voluminous risks have been identified. Now they don't know what to do. How do we move this to something that's actually workable, doesn't require outside consultants forever, that we can actually own and we can really make part of the way we operate at this college or university?